Stage of a cancer describes the clinical size of a tumor or the primary lien, its extent of spread to regional lymph nodes, and the presence or absence of any distant metastasis. Stage which shows the clinical extent of tumor can be studied through the TNM system. The stages of cancer are stage 1, 2, 3 and 4. Each stage has a criteria that needs to be met before it can be termed that stage. So before jumping into the stages, let's first see each category of TNM closely. The T of TNM describes the tumor which is divided into four major categories T1, 2, 3 and 4 while T4 is further divided into subcategories type A and B. For T1, the size of tumor is 2 cm or less in its greatest dimension. While in T2, the size of tumor is more than 2 cm but less than 4 cm when measured in its greatest dimension. In T3, the size is more than 4 cm. Although in T4, the size of tumor is more than 4 cm, the same as discussed in T3, but in T4, it has a tendency to invade surrounding structures. T4A is the state where the tumor is still resectable. If it is present on the lip, it may invade through cortical bone, inferior alveolar nerve, floor of mouth and the skin of face. While in T4A of the oral cavity, the tumor cells may invade through the cortical bone, deep extrinsic tongue muscles, maxillary sinus and may spread to the skin of face. T4B is non-resectable where the tumor has spread and invaded some important structures like the masticator space, pterygoid plates or the base of skull and may encase the internal carotid artery. N in TNM stands for regional lymph nodes. It's categorized as N0, N1, N2, which is further subdivided into 2A, 2B, and 2C. And lastly, we have N3. In N0, no regional lymph node metastasis is seen. This is the cancer side, and you may see cancer cells traveling to the regional lymph nodes. In N1, there is a single ipsilateral lymph node involvement which is on the same side as the cancer and is 3 cm or less in size. In N2A, again, a single ipsilateral node is involved but with a size greater than 3 cm but less than 6 cm. Now, as you may see in N2B, there are multiple ipsilateral lymph nodes involved, while none of them is more than 6 cm in size. In N2C, contralateral nodes, those on the opposite side as the cancer, are involved, while none of them is more than 6 cm in size. Or in N2C, nodes on both sides may be involved with size no more than 6 cm. Lastly, in N3, any node of size more than 6 cm may be involved. M stands for distant metastasis, that is to regions far off from the cancer site. It is either M0 or M1. While in M0, there is no evidence of distant metastasis. In M1, distant metastasis to either the lung, liver or bone is present. If the clinical evaluation shows a combination of T1, N0 and M0, it is termed stage 1. While a combination of T2, N0 and M0 is stage 2. For stage 3, there may be two options. Either a combination where there is T3, N0 and M0 is stage 3. Or if the tumor is either in 1, 2 or 3 state but there is N1 with M0. This could also represent a case of stage 3. 
Stage 4 comes with three categories where cancer is termed stage 4A if tumor is in P4A state with node in either 0 or 1 form with M node or a combination where T ranges from T1 to T4A with N2 and M naught is also termed stage 4A. While stage 4B is reached if T is in any state with N3 and M naught or either T in 4B state with N in any form and M naught. Lastly, stage 4C is reached if T and N may be in any form with M1 and this is the only stage of cancer with distant metastasis. Grade of tumor is the microscopic determination of differentiation of the tumor cells. Oral cancers have four histologic subtypes or grades, with grade 1 being termed as low grade, 2 as intermediate, 3 as high grade, and lastly grade 4 which represents the undifferentiated cells. Now generally speaking, differentiation is a normal process of maturation and specialization whereby cells gain a specific structural and functional identity. Now specifically for grading of a cancer, the differentiation we see is the extent to which parenchymal cells of cancer resemble the normal cells. While a normal squamous cell may look like this, a well differentiated squamous cell shows a lot of resemblance to the normal cell. However, with little loss of resemblance from normal counterpart, we get the moderately differentiated squamous cell. Poorly differentiated squamous cell has lost quite a lot of its resemblance from the normal squamous cell. Lastly, an undifferentiated squamous cell has no resemblance to the mature cell and may look more like the stem cell. When viewed microscopically, grade 1 shows off well differentiated cells, while grade 2 will have moderately differentiated cells. In grade 3, poorly differentiated cells will be observed, while in grade 4, there will be a majority of undifferentiated cells.